Hello all, welcome back to the part B of lecture 11. We will continue on logistic regression and in logistic regression we found there are two variant of the logistic regression model. One is logistic regression with logit link, another is the logistic regression with the probit link. And what we found that we know the value of x1, x2, xp. If we can somehow estimate beta naught, beta 1, beta p, the beta coefficients, then given a x1, x2, xp, uh, we can estimate the value of p. And that is what we our final objective that we want to estimate probability y equal to 1 or 1 minus p which is probability y equal to 0. This is the probability that we want to estimate. So question now boils down to how we estimate beta. How we estimate beta. So what we do we try to write the likelihood function of probit model. Suppose yi xi i equal to 1 to n contains n independent samples and for single observation the probit model is probability yi equal to 1 given xi is phi of xi transpose beta which is pi and probability y equal to 0 is 1 minus phi of xi transpose beta which is 1 minus pi. Now what is the likelihood of a single observation yi xi? The likelihood of single observation of fii xi, fii given uh, there is a mistake this given should be given xi transpose beta should be pi to the power yi and 1 minus pi to the power 1 minus yi. Now instead of pi you just plug in phi of xi transpose beta and 1 minus phi, phi of xi transpose beta to the power 1 minus yi. And since all observations are independent the joint likelihood of the entire sample is just product over i equal to 1 to n. So that's the like this is the likelihood function. This is the likelihood function of probit model. Now once you have the likelihood function of the probit model you can uh, write the log likelihood. The joint likelihood of the probit model is this. Now you can take the log of the likelihood this will give you summation yi l ln phi of xi transpose beta and 1 minus yi times ln 1 minus phi of xi transpose beta. Now once you have that you can also write the negative log likelihood of the probit model which is just you multiply the this from this one this log likelihood function by minus 1 that will give you the negative log likelihood function. Similarly we can define the likelihood function of logit model. Suppose yi xi is uh, equal to 1 and it contains the n independent samples. Then for a single observation the logit model is probability yi equal to 1 given the xi is e to the power xi transpose beta plus divided by 1 plus e to the power xi transpose beta and y a probability y a equal to 0 given xi can be written as 1 over 1 plus e to the power xi transpose beta. Now likelihood of single observations can be written as p to the power y a 1 minus pi to the power 1 minus yi. Now instead of pi you just plug in this functional form and in place of 1 minus pi you plug in this functional form that will give you the likelihood of the single observations. And then you can define the joint likelihood of uh, as this 
this product of pi to the power 1 yi times 1 minus p, pi to the power 1 minus yi and where pi is e to the power xi transpose beta divided by 1 plus e, e to the power xi transpose beta. So now once you define the log likelihood function, you can estimate the beta through maximum likelihood estimates of beta which is argmax of either likelihood function or log likelihood function or negative log likelihood function. Now in order to do the in most of the typical optimization subroutine it is a minimization pro problem so if you are solved so you have to when you are applying a optimization routine you have to be careful whether you are the our routine is doing it uh, minimization solving it as a minimization problem or a maximization problem if it is solving it as a minimization problem then you should try to minimize the negative log likelihood function if it is solving at as a maximization problem then you have to solve it as a maximizing log likelihood function maximizing directly likelihood is bit of a questionable why because you need you see if you look into it what is pi pi is a probability 1 minus pi is also probability so these points are this this is going to be a probability which is some probability between 0 and 1 and then you are taking product so for if n is very large then what happens for very large n this likelihood function value of likelihood function will start 10 to 0 as n tends to infinity become larger large the value of l becomes smaller and smaller and after a while what will happen it will just come your computer will just trunk it to zero and that is the problem so if you, if you want to avoid that so instead of working with likelihood function you it is better to work with either log likelihood function or negative log likelihood function gradient descent algorithm can be used to minimize the negative log likelihood function this is general prince recipe for any statistical model remember that this is a general recipe for any statistical model so once you have the statistical model you write down the likelihood function then you write down either log likelihood or negative log likelihood then pass it to the gradient descent algorithm and try to estimate the beta for simple linear regression one can show OLS estimator of beta is MLE this is a I'm I'm leaving it as an assignment I'm leaving it as an assignment that for you guys uh, that you know that show that simple linear regression is OLS estimator of beta is the maximum likelihood estimator so now in practice you don't have to implement any optimization there are uh, two python module which implement the logistic regression one is stats model another is the sklearn also known as scikit-learn uh, there is a built-in function called glm in our package named stats so in R also you don't have to worry in Julia also there is a function called G, there is a uh, package called glm.jl you just need to install this package glm.jl or you can install crraw crraw.jl so crraw.jl also implement logistic regression with both logic and probit link so in either you can do it in julia or in r or in python all standard packages do implement logistic regression so you can use any one of them thank you very much in the next video we will do hands-on